what's up guys how are you doing i hope you're great so today i'm going to show you how you can do a supervised classification within mv let's get started so the first thing is to open mv classic let me open mv classic and then after opening mv classic i'm going to navigate to the folder where i have stored my satellite image in this case it is a landsat 8 image it's an rgb image as you can see and then i import it let me try to visualize it and you see i create an rgb as you can see yeah so as you can see this is a, a landsat 8 image it's an rgb image you can see this is a lake yeah this is a build-up area this is a wetland area here is some vegetation there is some vegetation here yeah and then the first thing you should do is to make a classification scheme so a classification scheme will help you to determine the amount and number of classes you are going to have and what will be included in each class so for me here i will have four classes the first class is going to be water the second class is going to be the built up the third class is going to be vegetation and the fourth class is going to be um, what is it going to be we have water built up vegetation and then wetland for my fourth class for today i'm going to stop there but you can include more and more classes depending on the resolution of your imagery and also the amount of detail you need to get out of your classification after defining your classification scheme the next thing is to determine the areas that are going to be used for training our classifier so using this image window you come here to tools and then you come here to region of interest and then you open the roi tool so when you open the roi tool a new window is opened as you can see this window is going to help you to draw the regions that are going to be used for classification my first class is going to be the water then i put in water then i enter i also change this color to blue since water is always blue so i can either use the zoom window this is the zoom window i can use the scroll window or i can use the image window so since this is my water I'll use the image window and then I will draw a region of interest. This is water. Ta, ta. But again, I told you water is blue. So I'll change it to blue. Then I draw more regions of interest for the water. That is another region. Then I also draw another region here. Then I draw another region here, as you can see. Yeah so remember that whenever you're going to do a classification it is garbage in garbage out what you give into your system is what you get out so you should always aim at defining your training samples very well i hope you get that so after water you click this new region and then i am going to put in wetland remember a wetland is a place that is covered by water below and then above the surface there is vegetation so as you can see this is a wetland so i draw a region of interest here and then this color i will give it cyan cyan color then also here i will do the same also do the same here I also do the same here so after you have defined your classes me i have four classes one two three four classes as you can see yeah and then i'm going to use this for classification what you do is that you should already save your region of interest files so that you can use them later then you click file and then save roi's 
and then select whatever I want to save and then choose where you are going to save the region of interest and then call them ROI and then press OK and then save them. So after doing that, what is left is just the classification. Yeah, remember if you select your training classes very well, then your classification also be fine. However, if your training classes are poorly selected, remember that your classification will also be vague. So with classification, you come to classification and then supervised. Remember, there are many algorithms that have been incorporated within this software. So me, I'm going to use maximum likelihood because it is one of the best algorithms I've ever met. Yeah, if you are not familiar with maximum likelihood, I would recommend you to check out my tutorial about classification of remote sensing data. I will also share the link within the description of the video. So you click on maximum likelihood. So this tool will ask you for the input and then I'll select this and then I'll say OK. And then from there, it will tell you to select the number of points or region of interest that are going to be used for classification. And then I will select this. Yeah, I'll select all of them. You can either choose to save your output file locally or you can save it in a memory. Yeah, well, me, I'll save it in the memory and then I will press OK and then I will run. So after the classification is complete, uh, the classified image is ready to be displayed. So I'll select new display, and then I click load band. And as you can see, this is my classified image. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to link the display of this RGB and the supervised image to be moving together. So I come to tools and then link, and then link displays. Then I link display one to two, and then I press OK. So as you can see, when I press here, I can be able to compare the results, this side and this side. Can do it this way or this way. Yeah, and so as you can see, I'm going to try to show you the results of this classification. So, as you can see, we have here the built up and then the vegetation. So, the built up is the red and then the vegetation is the green. And then, as you can see here, let me try to show you. Here we have the built up and then we have the wetland. So, here we have the wetland. And then we have the water, we have the built up around here. This is a beach, I think. And then we have all kinds of features. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah. So let me try to show you the final classification here. Yeah, so this is my classified image. What is left is to make a map out of this and then also other results that are performed during post-classification.